Hello YouTube. Gaugen here bringing you a tutorial on how to install and play Grim Fandango in Windows 7. Uh, as you probably know and that's why you're here, it, uh, Grim Fandango does not work in Windows 7 and Vista. Or pff, it works, but if you want to play, if you don't want to play with distorted colors and uh, shit on screen, you gotta watch this tutorial. Uh, so what you're gonna do here is download three files starting off with the Grim Fandango patch right here and uh, this, the Grim Launcher I will have uh, links in the description for all of these so no worries and Grim Setup once you've downloaded all of those you open up the folder where you downloaded the, the shit and you start off by double clicking Grim Setup. Run. And it prompts you to insert disk A. Do that. Pop that disk right in there. Mmm. Mmm, feels so good. Mm. Oh, sorry. Uh, once you've done that, press OK. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, next. Uh, just install it. You know how to install shit, don't you? Yeah probably install and uh, this can take a while but uh, maybe I'll pause this pause it yeah be right back and yeah what this installer does it's it is installing everything from the CD to your hard drive so you don't need to swap the disks when you get to a certain point of the g in the game you know that got pretty irritating but uh, yeah, this is taking a while. So, how was your day? Oh, huh, cool. On the come on, Grim Fandango. Shit. Oh my god. Yeah. That's how you do it. Uh, insert the other disc. The disc doesn't want to come out. Oh no, no. And insert. Press OK. And I'll be back when the installation is done. Ah, now it's done. So, after you install it, apply the Grim Fandango patch. Uh, continue. Uh, yeah, good. Blah, blah, blah. And the Grim Launcher that you downloaded, you're gonna put right here in the folder where you install the game. So, LucasArts, Grim, and drag that, whoa, drag that in here. And replace the old one. Now, you are you're done. Well, I'm gonna start it just to show you that it actually works. Some options here. Close, launch your own play, run Grim from hard drive. So you don't need to swap the disks. Uh, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna start it in windowed so I can record with Camtasia. Right there. Ah. And it started. So yeah, it works. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from Office Manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get. Ah, uh, yeah, you get the idea. So, that's how you install and play Green Fandango in Windows 7. Pretty easy, huh? See you next time.